My name is Suresh Das, and I'm a food writer out of Toronto. I was born in Colombo, Sri Lanka, and uh, I grew up, uh, I'd say, for the first four or five years in Colombo. I left the country with my parents when I was 12 to come to Canada, and we've been in Canada since. And a lot of things have happened in Sri Lanka over the last 25, 30 years. The country has come out of a wrecking tsunami that hit the coast about 11 years ago. There was also a civil war that lasted you know, nearly 30 years, and that civil war tore this country apart from north to south. I mean, you know, my family lost family members uh, in, in this war, and it really has created a perspective of this country that is unfair. But after 25 years of war, everyone just got so sick of it and tired of it. People were just ready to move on and, and just live again. War ended about four years ago, and the country's on an upswing now. You see communities working together. You see people rebuilding their lives and other people just investing in the economy. And you see also a lot of people that moved away from Sri Lanka moving back, trying to you know, come back and find some, some footing again in the country to kind of rediscover the place that they left because they had no choice. The first few days in Colombo was really a chance to reconnect with culture and with food. I really wanted to taste things and, and see if they tasted the same way from my memories as a, as a kid here. I think Sri Lankans come across as shy, but all you have to do is smile and you'll get a biggest smile back from the driver to the street food vendor. And people are always willing to help. It's woven into the fabric of, of life here in, in the country. I mean, it's a very spiritual country, and I think the common bond that everyone shares, regardless of what religion you have, is food. In the last few years, many new restaurants have popped up all over Colombo. One of them is David Cruz's restaurant called Upalis. It's a traditional Sri Lankan restaurant located in the Arts District in Colombo. So after spending some time with David Cruz, it was very obvious that he's He's very knowledgeable when it comes to Sri Lankan food. To research for Upalis, he ate his way through the country and he kind of gave me a sense of how different the food can be from region to region within such a small country. So we have the north, it's known for their fiery, spicy seafood curries. We have the south, which is known for growing some of the spices that is used predominantly throughout the country. And really, Sri Lankan food has a reputation for being the spiciest food in the world. So the real reason for going to Upalis was to taste their signature item, which is the fish and curry. David gets his snapper from a local fisherman that brings a batch in every day. The snapper is butchered by the restaurant's butcher. A piece of the head is cut right off and then it's laid to rest while the mise en place takes place. A cook then preps a variety of spices and vegetables into a blender and purees it to get a sauce. The sauce is then coated onto the fish head curry and cooked gently for about 20 minutes. So the fish head curry is presented to you as you're sitting at the table in this large bowl. It's a, it's, it's, it's a curry that's meant to be shared. So you're sitting down, this fish head curry comes in a large bowl and it's covered with pineapple and tomatoes. A cart pulls over and this cart has rice and a variety of sides. The waiter takes your plate, fills it with a mound of rice and a, an assortment of pickles and beans and vegetables. And then the curry is topped onto the rice with a generous portion of the meat. And the meat is just tender and it just falls off the bone. I've rarely had fish curry that looked that beautiful. Well, I mean, this has been a life-changing experience for me. Uh, for the chance to finally come back to a country that I've missed for so long, trying to figure out, are those places still around, the places that you remember as a kid? Is that church still there? Is that street look the same? Um, and also, I think it's really hard for me to count the reasons as to why I should go back to Canada. I mean, this place has everything that I want. It's got wonderful food, some of the nicest people that I've ever met, and the fruits and the vegetables and the beaches and the, and the water and just being outdoors. Everything that I think about in terms of what makes me happy, it's all here.